Okay. All right, here's my second shot with a Hornady XTPs 240 grains. First shot hit right there. I moved it over eight clicks and it is dead on right where I wanted that. And so I'm ready for some hunting. Let's see what kind of damage we got here. Pass through, of course. Pass through. I mean, a muzzle loader don't play around, guys. That's just with a hundred rounds. I mean, a hundred grains of powder and about chopped down the tree here. Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank all y'all who have subscribed and watched my channel, my videos. I really do appreciate it. This Saturday is opening up of muzzle loading. And I'll tell you guys, this bow season, I did not kill one. I went and hunted a lot, did a lot of scouting, got some good spots set up. I could have killed at least five deer if I'd had a muzzleloader or a gun in my hand. But that's just how bow season is. Everything's got to line up just right. And I didn't want to take no far shot and take any chance of a wounded one. But I just want to show this off real fast. This is a tradition buck stalker. This is one of the cheapest muzzleloaders you can get on the market right now. Now, these run probably a little over 200 bucks. But I got this for $100 last year. So if you're looking to buy either a, a new muzzleloader on a budget, a new crossbow on a budget, I'm telling you, wait till after Christmas. Go up to a Walmart in your local area. You may have to go to a couple Walmarts. And right after Christmas, around January, around them two, about a week after Christmas, you know, first week of January, they will be marking down all the muzzleloaders and all the crossbows. I bought a, a $450 um Wicked Ridge crossbow a few years ago for $200, and I bought this marked down to $100 last year. I just shot it. I'm in love with it. I'm shooting a 240 grain Horn of the XTPs using 100 grains of powder and the 209 primer. It's got the breech plug that's easy to get out. The trigger on this is amazing. Now, you can tell some things are cheap. It's just kind of plasticky feeling in some areas, but uh, it's actually a really good feeling gun. The only thing I don't like about it is this right here. You have to pull it out, and you have to unscrew this a little bit to actually get the bullet all the way pushed down and it kind of hurts your hand pushing it down but other than that it's been an excellent gun i've got a uh, four power fixed power bushnell banner scope and if you want to talk about a budget scope guys this joker right here is just super clear i like the sights i like how it's got the circle in there it's all a man really needs on a muzzle loader especially a, a budget muzzle loader so between the mounts, scope mounts, scope base, scope, and muzzle loader, I probably got about $180 in the whole package. And I just shot it, and y'all are going to see, shot it about 50 yards, just sighting it in. Took two shots to sight it in after I bore sighted it, and I'm ready to kill a deer with it. So be expecting me to finally uh, up my game when it comes to my hunting videos. I've got so much footage, but I haven't posted any of it because I've not killed one yet. So nobody wants to watch a hunting video when there's no uh, deer actually being killed. So all I got to do is throw a sling on here. Got everything ready to go. If you're looking for a budget muzzle loader, wait after Christmas. Grab one of these traditions. I'm impressed. Usually we buy Thompson Center or CVA, but because this was such a good deal, I couldn't turn it down. It's actually got really good uh, open sights on it, but I took this back one off in order to fit the scope but other than that it's a great gun good trigger shoots good hardly any kick and i'm hoping to kill a deer with it 